Hi everybody, with the arrival of console update 1.08 for Nitrado Private Service for Xbox and PlayStation, you're probably wondering how you can install your mods. How can you update your mods so they'll include the many, many new items that um, come with this update. There's new weapons, there's new tents, there's new ways of spawning in vehicle parts. So you really want to you really want to take a look at your your mod files and uh, and and get them updated so they'll work well for all the people on your servers now there's quite a few different ways of doing this this is just the way that i'm going to be doing it and in this example we're going to be looking at the types.xml file which is one of the most important files now i'm pretty lucky in the fact that with my mods um i only have a mod at the moment five files so event spawns spawnable types events map group proto and uh, and type so there's not that much to do but the, the big one is, is is always the types file and the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use notepad plus plus which is a free download down, downloadable text editor that that's that's really powerful and one of the things that it can allow you to do is to compare two files so what you can see here is we've got um, types 108 which is the new types file and types.xml which is just my my uh, 107 uh, mod files for, for my private servers now notepad plus plus again just do a google search and then you can download it for free and then to install the uh, the compare plugin just do a google pl google search for how to compare files in notepad plus plus but basically you open the plugin manager Select the compare plugin and click click install. And now open both files you want to compare, and then from the plugins menu select compare. Um, and what it'll do is it'll take it quite a while to go through, and then it'll come up with all this data. Before you do this, it is very it's worth having a read of the patch notes, the 1.08 patch notes, so that you're kind of aware of the changes that are happening, so the things that you should be looking at as you're going through. And you may also may want to use this in conjunction with something like Daisy Loot Editor, mainly for um, editing your your nominal values. But I don't think I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this the, the long, long, slow way. And you may think, oh, this is going to take forever. Sure, you know, it's going to take probably probably going to take you about an hour to go through this file. But this is a really good opportunity for you to go through your types file but and the same thing works for for events and, and your other ones and just have a look at what you've done and think right what's working in the server what isn't working you know is there something that maybe i'd like to change and so the way that this works is again on the left hand side we've got the new 108 types file oh i should say how i got hold of that shouldn't i so to get a hold of the vanilla files <laughs> if you haven't done it already um if you want to uh, at the moment You've got to download them from your um, from a Nitrado private server, and so the first thing you have to do is you have to um, make sure that the uh, server has got the uh, new vanilla XMLs, and you don't have to reinstall this. You know, don't reinstall. All you need to do is go into your general settings, click Reset Mission XML to default, save that, and restart your server. And then all your XML files will be updated to the new vanilla ones, but obviously they'll have got rid of your modded XMLs. Then all you need to do is go into the file browser, and then Daisy Missions, obviously Enoch for Livonia, Chernerus for, for Chernerus, and then the files that you normally um, would mod you know just just download them and then you know put them put them in a folder so for example I've got my daisy trucks project which is the latest build I've got for my private server and within that I've got the 108 vanilla files so you open up both of the files in notepad plus plus you know do uh, plug in compare and after a few minutes depending on the power of your PC you'll come up with this and then all we're doing is we're just slowly scrolling down and just just comparing things and you, you you know you'll see the names we've been doing this long enough now and you'll be able to go okay so for example here we have the ak 101 so i've knocked it up to 10. so what you can do is you can just come over here and you can just go 10 and then the minimum needs changing and you know by, by now we're, we're pretty familiar with a lot of these what, what a lot of these things do and then you can come down and, and then we know that you may well have altered how the, how the weapon is counted 
So, counting order, counting map, counting player, and no crafted dynamic loot, no zero. And then you can go down. So I'm changing now. The first thing you see, this is where it, where it becomes very, very powerful. So let's take a look at this. So this is the AK101 black variant. So as we can see, with 1.08 in the types file, this is still something that doesn't spawn in in the world. Now, the colored weapons variants, as I understand it, were created by crafting. So you would find a black spray paint, a uh, uh, spray can, and you would spray your gun, and you would get a black one. But you can make them spawn in. So as we can see, the nominal is zero. And I used to have them spawning in, so we want the spawning in again. Um, and here we have value tier four type. So the easiest way, to be honest, of doing this would be just to copy all of that and just paste it over the top of that. And then just take a just take a look at it. Again, always take a look at it just to see if you've made any, you know, you've pasted things in the wrong place or anything like that. And that puts that in there. Let's save as we're going along. Then we can go down. So then we've got the AK101 green. Now, funnily enough, this one um, again is a zero, and I've got five, and the min is three. So again, probably the easiest thing is just to copy all of it and just paste it over the top like so AK74 I've moved it up to 20 so we could probably just go 20 there the minimum might be up to 10 and then if we come down to this bit as you can see that I actually changed it so that the AK74 spawns in in tier 1 places as well so we can again we could copy that we can just paste that in. Then we've got the AK-74 black. Again, this is a nominal of zero, so a mono eight. Again, it doesn't spawn in naturally. So what we could do is we could just copy all of that. And then we could just paste that in, just to make sure it all makes sense. Come down, then we've got the same with the AK-74 green. Just copy all of that. Now, I have just seen that I made a mistake. So if we go back up to here, what we can see is we've got two type finishes there, and we so we want to get rid of that one. This is why <laughs> doing it at half past ten in the evening isn't probably the best thing. You want to do this when you're fresh. So that's good. And then you can just go through and you can just, just, just compare the two files. You're looking from left to right. You know what these things mean. Wood, wood. So there's the AKM, 10, that's all the same. Military T sets, so AK74U, 10, that's all the same. Min's the same. Right, then we've got the AKS74U black. Again, we've got a slight difference. So what we can do is just really just copy all of that. Copy that. Paste that into there. Now, over on the right hand side, what you see here is we've got we've got the compare navbar, <laughs> which is actually quite useful because what you can do is you can slide this down and you can look at things like this. Now, what we have here is this is the old types, this is the new type. So what we can see here is you can see like the civilian sedan truck black. So we've now got different uh, types of uh, car parts that are spawning in in different places so again what you would want to do is you would just leave this you're not going to copy it into your old one but it's just it's good to see it because then you can just see ah oh, right so you can see how this stuff is working so these pink bits are, are different and here we can also see how they've changed some of the where some of this stuff spawns in as well and this is a good example of why you shouldn't really just copy and paste the new stuff into your old files because some of this stuff w w might stop working we always want to be copying and pasting our changes from our old types into the new types and just really taking a good look then if we scroll down to say here so here we are, so we've got the M4A1 green, if we go up to, so M4A1 black, what you can see here is, I've actually um, 
you know, put the, the the black variant of the M4A1. I've added it to military tier one, tier two, three, 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 four. So again, I would copy that and paste that into there, and you would copy and paste that into there. And then if we scroll down right to the bottom, what you'll see down here, <laughs> this bit, big bit here, this is these are all the books that I've spawned in. So again, I would just copy those and I would paste them into the new files. And then you may want to use something like a HTML or XML validator, sorry, just to make sure everything's cool. Um, and then you would save that file, you know, as just the types.xml. And then you would stop your server, upload it to your Nitrado private server, restart the server. And over time, your new stuff will be fed in to, 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 to the server. Just remember... The central loot economy is quite uh, quite a finicky thing, and especially when it comes to things like your events, um, and you're waiting for certain events to disappear. Say you've done a custom event where you've got things like cars that are spawning in with stuff in the boot. So that's what I've what I, I I would do. Unfortunately, because the servers are working already, a load of cars will have spawned in. A load of Ada events would have spawned in in my case. So my new Ada events that have this that the aiders with the stuff in the boot won't spawn in until the old ones have disappeared so this is you know it's a little bit of a slow process and this could take a while especially if players are um interacting with 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 this old stuff that you want to get rid of because as soon as it gets interacted the timer on whether it will despawn or not kind of starts again the only way that you can get around that if you want all of your new events and all of your new items to start spawning in straight away is to do a wipe but you know we, we've got time uh, invested in, in a lot of these private servers. I know we have, definitely on my one, where people have spent a lot of time building. So there's no way I'm going to do a wipe if I can possibly get around it and, and dive in and change my change my XMLs and do it in a slow way. Because one of the things I have found out, actually, is that the old um, uh, the, the custom items, like the weapon variants the coloured ones, they're still there. They haven't despawned on my server. You know, it start, stopped and started a couple of times, but they're still there. They won't spawn in again until I update my types file and my events and all that sort of stuff. So what you would do is you would carry on going through your types XML, you know, line by line, and then, as I say, I, I would maybe have a load it into Daisy Loot Editor, just have a look at your nominals, just to make sure. Don't mess around with anything like D-Loot or anything, because that, that never works properly. Um, and then um, when you're happy with the way that is, again, save it and then move on to the next one. Look at your look at your events, then look at your uh, spawnable types. That would be a big one to change. Uh, map Group Proto. Generally, people just mod Map Group Proto for um, helicopter spawns. Uh, you know, you want to change them so that you, you have the C-130 spawning in as well that way. But obviously, if you're the type of person who, who have done lots of changes to those files, this is going to take you a little bit longer. But the types one for me is the big one. That's the one that's going to take the longest. Then it will be probably spawnable types next, and then then events, and, and the others aren't, aren't too bad. So there we go. Hopefully, that shows you how you can use Notepad++, about how you can install the compare plugin, and you can just simply slowly scroll down with a nice cup of tea carefully just changing the things over and remember you're always copy and pasting things from your old types into your new ones don't try and just copy the say the frying pan from the new one to your old one because you're probably going to miss out some on some other stuff and as you can see with the way that car parts are spawning in now it's very different to the way it was and you, you don't want to break the server and especially you want to give your players on your custom servers you know the proper daisy 1.8 experience Okay, so there we go. Hopefully that's useful. Hopefully that's got you started. And um, if you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more, press subscribe. And I'll see you again soon.